Okay, it's main event time here on Worldwide Wrestling, and uh, we are looking forward to seeing this tag team matchup. Over the past couple of weeks, the ladies from Japan have been out here, and we've seen Akira Hokuto, who of course is the WCW Ladies Heavyweight Champion. We've seen Kaoru, we've seen uh, Miko Satomura, and we're going to see Medusa involved in this one as well. And I tell you, some real good competition in the ladies division in this sport, Frank. Oh, very good competition. Look at that. Look at how they dress in their entrances. I mean, the, the Japanese do it right. They spare no expense. Akira Hokuto, ladies champion, making her way out. Sunny Ono leads her in. And there is Koru, and she is one tough lady. And beautiful, too. I guess you, yes, she's in her own way very attractive. And it's going to be quite a thunderous ovation here for the, the lady who's considered by many the uncrowned champion and who sooner or later is going to get another shot, and that's Medusa. And I say uncrowned champion because if you joined us for Starcade, you know Sonny Ono and the flagpole incident hitting Medusa on the back of the head led Akira Hokuto to securing the title. And look at that, Medusa's wearing Duggan's flag. Medusa, Miko, Satomura. In this tag team feature bout here on Worldwide in our major matchup there's Jimmy Jett who's the referee assigned I'm gonna have Medusa beat you up Giovanni oh you are does Medusa listen to whatever you say I don't think so she's got eyes for me you know who does Medusa yes nah I can tell these things yeah or you can make them up one of the two Medusa and Sadabura in tag team action against Hokuto and Kero of course uh, since uh, Hokuto is not defending the ladies heavyweight championship here, Medusa could get a pinfall against her, not win the title, but really do a lot to boost her confidence. Certainly could. Keru and Satomura in there now. Satomura hit the ropes and Hokuto's got her. Oh. Into the midsection, roll up, one, two, and almost quickly, Satomura had a big win. Look at the powerful legs on the Satomura. Wow. Very powerful. And they're all young. Yes, they got their whole career ahead of them. They don't get busted up. Ladies wrestling in Japan, some of the great young female athletes in the world compete in that division. Much like we have uh, worldwide in ladies tennis. Teenagers, youngsters are the tops in uh, their field. Same way in ladies pro wrestling. Well, the Japanese start young and they start training from an early age. You know, look at the sumos. And, Goes right up here to WCW. Akira Hokuto now with Satomura. Look, she wants Medusa in there. Medusa, it's almost teasing Medusa. And pulling the arm of uh, Satomura back. And boy, Medusa wants to get in there against the champ. There's no question. No, oh, an elbow between the shoulder blades that time. They're beautiful outfits, don't they, the Japanese? They're very oh. elaborate. There's no question. There's a crossbody one, two, Two count now. Uh oh, here we go. Medusa in, and Medusa fist of fire here. Pounding on the back, picking her up. Power no! Up. No! Akira Hokuto with her press made a one two count that time. Tremendous move. That's your woman's world champion right there. Double team on Medusa. Medusa ducking. Medusa flying Larry as both ladies go down. Who's legal, though? Wow. That's clever, isn't it? I guess in a, in, in a manner of speaking, it is. Much easier on your eyes, though, than the Nasty Boys are Medusa and Satomura. And look at that. I believe maybe, was that Sonny Ono getting involved that time? What do you think the odds are that two women's knees would go out at the same time? Oh. Astronomical. Talk about bad luck. Kauru oh! with a flying press slam. What and Medusa. a maneuver. Medusa chasing Sonny Ono, and meanwhile her partner, Satomura, being double teamed here. Bridge, one, two, three. Hokuto and Kaoru get a win over Medusa and Satomura, and I tell you, Medusa leaving her partner and chasing Sonny Ono did not help matters at all here, Brain. But I'll tell you why, Medusa was at an advantage, a disadvantage, because the other team could speak to each other in Japanese. I doubt if Medusa could uh, have a conversation 
or communicate with her partner. I don't agree with that at all. She spent many years in Japan. She knows the language. Yeah, but during the heat of a match, you know, different terminologies and different slang. You know, the other woman might have told her to go get the other girl and it ran away. And she didn't know anyway. She dropped the ball. And she lost it for her team because she was too concerned with putting her hands on Sonny Ono. Sonny Ono should have stayed out of the match is what he should have done. And we're going to take a look at the replay. Take it away there, brain. We'll get a shot of this. Medusa ducks the double clothesline and just drives them. Almost bulldogs them backwards to the mat. Medusa's a very, very tough woman. There's your world champion. On the mark with the drop kick. On the mark. But she's not done with it yet. She's going to beat on her a little more. Look at this move. Into a bridge. And there's your winner, the heavyweight female woman's champion, led by that man, Sonny Ono. Awesome.